As the bison are rolling into town, and right now we want to go send things over to Valley News Live's Jack Wallace. He's standing by at the team's hotel with an update. Jack, how are things going out there? Well, welcome to Texas, y'all. It's been a great evening and a great afternoon so far here in Texas. And we're right here at the Omni Hotel right behind me, rising up. And that's where all the NDSU players, families, and even a few fans piled in here only a couple hours ago. Now, only about, I'd say about 3.30ish, the team went in and landed in Dallas and then made their way over here to Frisco. And so it's going to be pretty exciting. We went over by the field. We as in Devin and I went by Toyota Stadium and we saw how the whole team is kind of building everything up there. They're getting all the paint down. They're getting the little mid the logo in the middle of the field. And they're getting the end zones done. We saw all the painting done today. We're going to have a package coming up at 6 and 6.30 to show you all a little bit more on the sights and sounds about what makes all of that work. And, yeah, it's been a great time in Texas. We're looking forward to getting the rest of the coverage in. And all the weather is pretty great, too. You can see I don't have to have sleeves on now, which is great. I know it's a little bit chilly there in Vargo, so we're glad that we got some more, more warm weather here up to the mid-60s coming up in a few days. So I know these bison appreciate a little bit of warm weather, too. But that's all we got right now in Frisco. We'll head back to Bobby in the studio. Dallas, I am to hear that you are going to have 60s in your weather. Come to hear where it's a little bit cold, but Jack, it's also nice to hear that the bison have landed and are there. Jack, thank you so much.